Rodeo Drive in Hollywood, California has always been a draw for rich international tourists looking to buy luxury goods in a place known for its luxury. But lately, there are fewer visitors, specifically fewer Arab and Muslim visitors. We've got a lot of people uh, from the United States visiting us this summer, and we especially have a lot of people coming from the western U.S. this summer. Uh, we're still seeing quite a bit of international traffic, but we've seen our Middle Eastern business change somewhat. By change, she means fewer visitors to Cartier and fewer international tourists at the Beverly Wilshire Hotel and at Prada. So we're seeing smaller groups because a lot of the people who come from Saudi Arabia have big families and a lot of help that come with them and the travel ban sometimes affects their help and so the groups have shrunk down a little bit. The strong U.S. dollar is also sending tourists to Europe where their money goes farther. The euro is weaker, it's easier to go to France, it's much cheaper to go to France and buy products and services and many of these designer houses are located, you know, that's where their headquarters are. So, um, so there's a little bit of that that you have to take into account. But it is not just visitors from the Middle East. Chinese tourism, also a mainstay of Southern California, is down from cities like Beijing and Shanghai. I think there's a lot going on right now. Um, you know, you have our political environment, you have a strong dollar, you have what's going on um, with Qatar and um, the backlash with the Emirates and Saudi Arabia. And I think all of those things combined makes for um, a different type of business. But an increase in domestic tourism is helping a bit. We have a lot of traffic, our hotels are full. I think the one thing that we're seeing a little bit is that the business mix is changing somewhat. So where we used to be larger percentage international, smaller percentage domestic, we've seen that flip around a little bit. In an effort to draw more tourists, the region has unveiled a new marketing campaign and is keeping more stores open later at night. Kevin Enix, VOA News.